Hey, sweeties. Um, if you've been reading my blog, you you can't have uh, helped notice a huge controversy. Um, I wrote kind of a manifesto against reductionist brain science. Um, I called it, what did I call it, critiquing brain sex activism. Um, and my, my th thinking has has evolved since then, all of three days ago, um, partly because of the controversy. Um, I've been searching, I, I, I'm uh, critiquing a discourse, I am critiquing a discourse that gender is binary, um, and I am critiquing the role that trans activists play in defending the binary. Um, and. You know, I, I wrote a really sharp post, and I got a lot of reaction, <laughs> a little more than I could deal with. I, I, I was depressed and bruised um, for a day. I withdrew from the internet, but I'm back. Um, uh, but, uh, so two things I learned from this controversy. One, it's very, very important to, to state that I'm critiquing a discourse and not people. Um, and that's kind of hard because it's hard to separate because people use the same words. So, um, what I am critiquing is reductionism, reductionism of gender to two, to two, um, and sexuality to two, right? Is um, and you know genitalia to two, you know. So you know we have these, we have gender queer, you know, we we have intersex, we you know we have pansexuality. Um, you know, we have multiplicity. So, um, on topic, that's that's one thing that I learned. And the other was that I was under the impression, you know, so I was kind of ceding brain science to, science to the reductionists. And that was a mistake. Um, because, you know, what turns out is you know, uh, uh, scientist Zoe, I forget your last name, um, came and, and did a little education, um, sent me some links to, and yeah, and one of them was um, Dr. Drentz, and I, I'm very enamored of her theories right now. Um, but, you know, what I'm actually really wrapping my head around right now is that um, the biology of the brain is really going in a genderqueer direction. Um, it's proving genderqueer. You know, that, yeah, I'm sure I'm the only one in the world who might say that yet, but trans isn't that far from saying that. Um, so, you know, what it turns out, you know, so, so maybe I should just read a power, her PowerPoint um, presentation. I'll put in the links. Please, please read this stuff. It's very important, um, no matter what your views are to understand that modern science is not proving a binary. So, so to the extent to which they're finding out that sexual orientation, genitalia, and sexual, you know, identity, you know, to what extent there really is a biological sexual identity, you know, that's kind of hard for me to wrap my mind around, but okay, um, there's not a binary. Uh, and, you know, she's saying that there's, you know, and you know, it's a little bit like quantum phys physics, right? Is quantum physics didn't prove anybody's idea of cosmology because it was so weird. It was hard. We have to come up with new models to understand. And I, I, I think that's kind of where we are with sex and gender now, uh, reading this research, is, you know, it's, a, it's complex. But now we're starting to have a biology of the brain which really, you know, says it's complex and, and, and has some ways of investigating. So I'm, I'm really interested in where this is going to go. So I am going to come back in a second. By the way, this was my first gender tweet. The whole point of a gender tweet is zero editing. It's kind of like a dogma film manifesto. But it's in order to unleash creativity. Try it. Um, just do a short tweet. Uh, put it up there. Don't look at it again. Um, it, the, the production is what's killing us and keeping us from really exploring this medium. Uh, we're, we're all uh, putting too much time into production, post-production, and not enough into actually creating art. So, bye-bye.